We've got Jeff here, and we actually want to start with the takeover of Elon Musk's, or I should say, of Twitter by Elon Musk. And I'm curious if you if you want to weigh in even on the original conversation we were just having, Jeff, as a as a as a management guy, do you think that he is required to or should pay out these 7,500 employees um, in terms of their their stock vesting, which we're talking about the date being next Tuesday? Uh, yeah, I was surprised to see such unanimity on the team there this morning that you guys did did agree that that would be the fairest thing to do. And by the way, Andrew, you know, I'll, I'll talk about anything with you. I'm so delighted by the invitation. I'd, I'd talk about even in defense of, of, of Chevron's uh, results. But uh, I, I think that um, uh, it certainly he it does have some concern about his reputation, even though there's a lot of flamboyance there. Of course, he is uh, is bit, he's brilliant. The world's better off because we have him. But he is quite thin skinned. And I, I think he would want to pay it, even if it would be hundreds of millions of dollars, to show some loyalty. He has enough cultural erosion right now. He doesn't need to throw uh, more, more gas on the flames. Okay, the other big sort of management ethics question that arose yesterday, I don't know if you were focused on with, with Twitter, was he brought a whole series of employees, engineers, I'm told, from Tesla, SpaceX, and the Boring Company to Twitter's offices to start getting into and speaking with the engineers at Twitter, in part to help him understand what's going on inside the, the, the company and what needs engineering work. It's a very unusual situation. Tesla, of course, is a publicly traded company with its own investors. And even though he controls SpaceX and Boring, those companies have their own investors. I haven't seen a situation where companies start lending their other companies, their employees, to help them. How should that work? Well, I, I think that the uh, the idea of uh, having a, um, a lunch and learn session where you stir up creative ideas by some dramatic parallels is a fine idea to do. However, to bring in these people as if they're the cavalry, as if they're the posse, and they have the solutions, not understanding the very different technologies, uh, I'm sure that you, you have tremendous geniuses at, at SpaceX. Why doesn't he throw in Neuralink while he's at it? And each one of these companies have had their misses themselves, of course. Uh, the Boring Company, it, it, their biggest triumph is they live up to their name. I think it was about four year, five years ago, they promised they're going to have these tunnels connecting Las Vegas, Los right. Angeles, and, and but only is, everything is lost in the desert there. Is, uh, I, I really haven't seen that we have but is success. It a re I, I'm speaking about it as a resource issue, which is if, if certain companies, you know, you own one, you own another. It, it, I, I don't want to use the word self-dealing, but there are people who would look at, you know, when you start to use your people in different places in this way, how, how, how investors should think about that? Or should we think about the Elon Musk empire as just one? Well, the investors got pretty upset, of course, when Solar City, which was failing, got jammed into, uh, into Tesla. I don't think we have to worry about that here. I think some cross-pollination of visits with ideas to stir things up is a fine idea, but but uh, to have uh, whatever he was doing with with weed whackers or leaf blowers or flamethrowers to bring in the engineers on those products is kind of ridiculous. They don't have that, but if they have some creative ideas, right. you know, bring in anybody who's done something different no, no. Oh, for a visit. I, I, I think actually you and I are actually in, in quite agreement. If it's a, if it's a one day, two day thing, you're just trying to get some ideas going. Yeah, like where are those sense. autonomous if taxis? You start to use them in, if you start to use them more extensively, it gets more complicated quickly.